I'm Mark Allen, Mr. Saltwater Tank. Come and tell me how at saltwateraquarium.com. Sometimes throughout the build process, you put something in place and you look at it and you go, huh, let's do something different, which is what's happening with the display refugium. The old idea was this would be a big refugium, put some ornamental macroalgaes in there, and it would be a display refugium. And my experience with refugiums on clients' tanks is they don't get used that often because my clients' tanks are usually nutrient poor. Rarely do I have a nutrient problem. So putting in a big refugium on a tank that probably won't need it, I said, ah, it could work, nothing wrong with it, but let's do something different. The display refugium is getting swapped for a shallow lagoon tank. Out with the macroalgae, in with flashier livestock. First thing to change, lighting choices. Instead of a refugium light, we'll go with a capable reef tank light that can mount far off the water line. By putting the light up high, we can keep easy access to the lagoon, as well as keep the clean, sleek, rimless look. Lighting will be provided by a Kessel A500X that we're going to mount at least 36 inches above the tank. This will give us plenty of spread, and even though the fixture is far from the tank, we'll get plenty of light out of it. The A500X is a par monster, especially when the 55 or 35 degree lenses are added to the light. We'll see if we actually even need the lenses, and if we need a second A500X. Next up, flow. Just return line flow for now. We want the lagoon to be low flow. We may add power heads in time, and if we do, we won't be going overboard and adding high flow power heads. Now what about filtration? Since the lagoon tank is tied into the saltwater aquarium 700, no additional filtration is needed in the forms of sumps or skimmers. The Nios Quantum 300 skimmer is plenty capable of handling the increased water volume. Rock is definitely going in the lagoon tank and we're going to use real reef rock. Real reef rock looks fantastic straight out of the box and I've always had success with it. The thought of going bare bottom in the saltwateraquarium.com lagoon tank, that's out. Don't like the look, it's too sterile, and it's not gonna help us build some nutrients, which we're very likely gonna need in this tank. So what's gonna go in for substrate in this tank? Well, not sand. We're gonna use Two Little Fishies Outstanding Selection Refugium Substrate. This looks a little bit like mud, but it's got some sand in here. It's gonna have more weight than the mineral mud that people used to use in the 2000s and earlier. So we like Two Little Fishies products. We use their outstanding selection special grade sand in the main display for the saltwateraquarium.com 700. We're gonna put the refugium substrate in the lagoon tank and give that a whirl. Current livestock plans for lagoon tank include mangroves, sea anemones, potentially mandarins or scooter dragonets as well. These small fish will get lost in the saltwateraquarium.com 700 and having them in the lagoon tank will let us enjoy them in a close up setting. Plus, they will pop against the black Two Little Fishies Outstanding Selections for Fusion Substrate. I'm excited to work with a shallow tank, and we're excited to see the saltwateraquarium.com Lagoon Tank come together. Mm -hmm.